Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on updating some existing car seats to uh, a different fabric. We're going we're gonna to kind of renovate them and make them look nicer and newer. And we're also going to be adding some heat elements to it as well. So I think this is going to be an interesting little update here. So what we have here are some really comfortable seats out of a sports car. And they look, as you can see, they look in pretty good condition. Except um, this particular one right here has some rips right here. But the bolsters do not, so it's nice that they don't have any, you know, typically that's where you see a lot of the wear is on the bolsters, but this one is solid. And uh, I think that these, these, these seats in particular are very comfortable. I was thinking about getting some, some aftermarket seats, but then I thought, well, you know, these things look pretty good. They fit the car perfectly, and they're really comfortable, so why would, you know, why would we want to buy new seats that may in fact be worse, you know? Or maybe they'll be better, but they'll cost a grand a piece or something, so we don't want to do that, so... So we have nice seats here, I just want to update it a little bit. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be kind of renovating these seats, make them look a little bit nicer. So this particular car is a sports car, has kind of a, a retro look to it. It, it, it. it itself is a 92, so it's not exactly, it's actually retro just for being a 92, but it's also kind of has a look that at the time was a little bit more, I would say 70s or you know 80s or something. So. What I got here is I got some nice, really cool fabric here. So some nice cloth fabric. Oh, that's another thing too. I'm not a big fan of leather or vinyl. These are actually vinyl. They look like they're leather, but they're actually vinyl. Um, not a big fan of that. Kind of slippery and, and squishy. I'm never a big fan of that. So I like cloth seats. So what we're going to do here is I got myself some nice houndstooth two-tone cloth material here. Black and white. I think it's kind of classic. I think it looks really cool. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put it Basically, the, the, uh, the whole inner part here is what we're going to update here. So, so basically, this, this worn part here, just the center. We're going to leave the bolsters alone. That's fine. And we're going to do just this updated part right here. So from there over to here. We're going to tear all that out. And we're going to put our new cloth in. And while we're at it, why not just add heat to it as well? So that's what we got right here. We got some heat. This is enough for one seat. We got two. We got enough for two. And um, so why not go ahead and just stick these uh, heating elements in as well. And that way we'll have heated retro two-tone seats that are really comfortable and will look really cool. And then also what we're going to do while we're at it, this will be a different video, but we have enough material here to do the door cards. So we're going to go ahead and do the door cards as well. And that way we'll have a nice coordinated interior. So I think it's going to look really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is allocate enough area to do this procedure. So I've only got a small little area right here in, in, the, in the little section of my basement here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing it right here. So I already moved the other seat out of the way. Make sure you have enough room. Um, I put down a moving blanket here to protect the floors because uh, you're going to have like little pieces that are sharp right here. You don't want to scrape up your floors. Um, so do that. If you have a table, it would be even better, but I don't have that, so I'm just making do with what I have here. So you want to make sure you got enough room. Now, so the first thing you want to do after you've got that done is uh, start taking it apart. So take off any side plastic pieces. We're going to go ahead and separate the upper part from the lower part. With the upper and lower separated, now we can just focus on one cushion or the other. We're going to do the easy one here first. On this particular seat, it appears that this actual, this whole insert is actually separate. So that's going to make it super easy right here. The, the part we want to replace is going to be just right here. So it looks like we'll be able to just reach in here and um, unhook it right here. So using a bolt cutter, you can easily cut this wire off of here. As so right here. Don't worry about salvaging it. It's not that important. Next step, you want to go reach in here and unhook the uh, insert. So I've already done that here. And so uh, that... And this basically comes right out like so. So it's um, it's just hooked in there. So you just put pressure on it, unhook it from the wire, and that is now separated. So that was pretty easy to do. So we'll go ahead next. We'll go ahead and um, process this further by getting the rest of the fabric off here. So look, we have more of the metal hooks again. So once again, don't worry about salvaging. Just go ahead and clip these, clip these things off any any way you know how. Wire cutter, bolt cutter, whatever it takes. So with the rings out, now it's pretty easy to separate the, the foam from the vinyl. And basically that's what we got right there. So now what we'll probably do is we'll, um, we'll set this aside and um, process this one next. So next step is to take the tracks off on both sides. And then uh, we'll be doing the same procedure. There's a, there's a series of hooks around here, but a lot of them are underneath those tracks. So we're going to have to take the tracks off and then take the hooks off. 
So the next step is to just kind of pull up on all the corners. There's a couple little rubber uh, band things that you have to unhook. No big deal. And then just kind of pull it all up. And then what you'll, what you'll find is there's a couple more rings right here. There's one here, another one right here. So you're going to have to cut those off. And then same thing on this side. With those last rings removed, there's actually um, 20 of them total on the back side here. It's got some nasty staining going on here. Be nice to get rid of that. But now we have it removed. So that's basically that procedure. It's interesting, it looks like they actually, uh, when this foam was formed, there must have been some gaps or something. They actually came back and filled it with some patch, patch foam and then taped it, taped it down to make sure it's all perfect and everything. Interesting how they did that. So my material that I got here is, is about 56 inches usable area by uh, 36, well I guess uh, a yard, so it's 36 inches across and then it's folded over so it's two yards. So we got two yards of material that I bought at 56 inches wide. So it's going to be plenty of material, I just measured the card, the door cards and that's about a 15 by 36 piece is what we're going to need for that. So basically we could probably measure out about 15 inches or so, which is about what this is right right now. And basically cut that out first and set that off to the side since that will be our door cards. I'm also making sure that we're going, um, this has kind of a vertical pattern here, or I mean, a, it has a rectangular pattern. And so the pointy tips right here, so it's kind of rectangular. So I'm making sure that that rectangular pattern is going in the same orientation as our as our as our panel. This is our door card material so we we'll just go ahead and tuck that away set it aside for, for later and over here we got everything laid out so we're going to start cutting the material now. So we got our fabric cut got our two pieces set up right here and so now we can go ahead and start uh, playing with the electric elements see how that works here with the heating all right, so I've laid out the heating elements for our seats here. I've already begun to trim this one up a little bit in the corners. Um, it's going in pretty smoothly. It's actually just the right size. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly. The only thing is there's a couple little wires down here. So you're gonna, um, it looks like we're going to have to carve something out here. Because the last thing I want is something stabbing me in the back right here. And it's kind of sticking out, protruding out. So we'll have to like cut out a little indention in the foam. Same thing on this one. This one's looking pretty. It's right about where we want it to be. It has little notches, it lines right up with our seat here, so it's kind of nice. And this one's got even a bigger little bump right here, so the last thing we want is something poking us there too. So I went ahead and cut out that foam right there. So now we have a nice flat surface now. And I cut out a little hole for our wire right here, so we have a nice, uh, we won't feel any of this stuff when we're sitting on it. And on this one we cut out a little bit of foam here as well. Just a tiny little bit, so that way we make sure there's absolutely nothing that we feel our back won't feel that at all. Okay, so this is the stuff we're using. Spray both sides. Let it sit about a minute or so. So I've already done this one. Very nice and smooth. Let that sit overnight. And we'll continue on. Okay, next step is to go ahead and lay out your, your upper foam portion here on your fabric. Make sure to, to cut out the opening here first and slide that in first and then go ahead and pull it tight and then run your wire out on the bottom here. And um, now it's just really just a matter of taking some, uh, we've got some tie wraps here, some cable ties, nylon cable ties. That's what we're going to use everywhere. Um, they should work really well. You should be able to punch through here, punch through here with your X-Acto knife. Makes it pretty easy to just tuck it in there and then basically um, do a series of folds. Now this is a little bit of a complex corner because it's rounded. It's the only place where it's rounded. So we want to be kind of, it might be a little tricky to get that to, to, to come out right. But we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. Alright, so here's our finished product here. Um, using a hole punch is very handy for this procedure. You basically punch in, drop, you know, put your cable tie through, punch another thing in, punch this through, pull it down, and you're good to go. It's real simple, real easy. Pretty fast procedure. This, this uh, rounded corner was a little bit of a of a pain, but I think I got it looking pretty okay. I think it's gonna look adequate. Looks kind of pillowy, which is okay. I don't think that's gonna mind too much. Um, so also, well, here's here's basically our, so so basically what I got here is I got another cable, a longer one right here. And so what the, what the concept with that one is right there is that when we put this into our seat, it's gonna 
clamp down there, but we don't have any way for it to hold down here. So what I've done is I added that cable right here. And so we'll be able to just latch right onto that piece of piece of frame, just a steel frame right here. So we'll be able to latch right onto that. And I think that's gonna actually be cleaner than the original design. So here it is all assembled. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's nice and uh, flat, it's nice and tight, fits in there nice and snug. The only thing that I've, as I mentioned before, these rounded, these rounded uh, corners were a little bit of a pain. So you, can, you have a little bit of an obvious, you know, little piece here that's bunched up there. But I mean, so if I take it to a car show and if somebody judges me on my interior appearance, I'll probably place last place. But uh, otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. I think most people are not even going to know that if you look at it. I mean, really, especially the further you get away from it, you really just don't even see it. It's like, it's just, you look at the overall effect and it looks great. So that's what matters. So anyway, let's move on to the bottom now. So I have a, I looked at this a little bit further and I like the whole idea of not sewing anything. So I think what we can do here, I, I took off a little bit more of the material here. Like, so I, I was going to leave this little piece on here so I could sew into that. But what I've decided is to remove that entirely. So I've already done it on this side. And what that gives me is a nice clean line right there. And we still have our bar in there. We have our mounting bar. So it, has, it still has the same original bar and we still have the places to hook it down. So we'll be able to clamp that down. And so I like that and I think that's gonna work. I think what we can do is we can just lay our fabric right on here and uh, underneath it, since we have overlapping we have a lot of extra fabric. We can actually put the fabric on first and then put this stuff on after and clamp it down. And I think that would do that. And I think I, I mean, maybe, you know, use those same attaching points to, to uh, attach our fabric. And then most of the attachments will happen at the front and at the back. And I think pull it tight that direction and then having a couple clamps on the side. And I think that should do it. I think that will work out pretty well. So let's go ahead and process this other side. So it matches this side and then we'll uh, continue. Next step is to go ahead and mark our center lines of the, of the existing uh, frame here and then mark the center line of our fabric. So I've done that right here and here. That's going to be our guide to keep it all center and straight. Next step, lay your fabric down. Cut out your hole for your electric wiring right here. Make sure those center lines line up with our marks right there as so. This uh, fabric is really nice because it's all kind of in a straight lines here. So you can kind of use those, those same lines here. It makes it real easy to line stuff up. So like here's our mark right here. But all you have to do is look right down here and you can kind of roll it back and you can kind of see this is it right here. So it kind of goes with our center line. And then uh, that's that. So you just kind of make sure everything's centered up. Make sure our fabric is down nice and taut. And... Uh, Next thing we'll do is we'll start tying the next step after laying the fabric down, lining everything up. We're going to go ahead and just uh, make sure this is all pressed down, make sure this is all pressed in nice and snug. And then we're going to go ahead and find our, our mounting positions and use some cable ties here. There's a couple locations here. We're going to tie that down on both sides. After you insert the side pieces, then you just turn it upside down and you continue on. There's the little rubber piece right here. I just put that in place. Just make sure it's all tied around here nice and tight and then what you do is you gather your fabric around and just kind of fold it in some sort of a half decent looking way such as that and I got it tied off we're going to tie it off a couple more places right here and here and um, back here we, we've wrapped this this piece works out just where it was originally so what we have to do is just use the existing holes here punch through a new fabric and that one right there and basically clamp that right there do the same there, punch a hole through there, go through the existing, clamp it there, and then all the other clamps are just as they are. I mean, they, there was a lot more clamps here than is necessary. I would say that you probably could get by with just two on a side here, you know, instead of three or four, whatever they had before. It's kind of excessive. So maybe three in the front, two in the sides, maybe two in the back, two or three in the back. Here's what the underside looks like, all done. Um, I used, um, I ran out of, I'm starting to run light on cable ties. I'm going to have to buy a thousand of them or something because I'm light. I've only got like about 20 left. So what I did is I used some, uh, some uh, you know, bread, uh, tie, you know, wire. You know, when you buy a loaf of bread, it has the little, you know, wire. So I used, since I got about a thousand, well, I don't know. 
at least a couple hundred of those in my kitchen drawer, I was like, okay, I'm going to just use these right here because it actually, there's not as much pressure just on the sides. So just here, here, and here, and here, I used it right here, you can see. It's actually, a, there's not as much pressure, there's really not that much pressure. I mean, the thing was overbuilt the way they had it before, so it's just like, there's really not that much tension or anything on that, on the sides. Most of it's in the front and the back, so. So I'm saving the cable ties for the, the more high stress areas, places that we want to be able to adjust it as we go along here. And so this is what I did. You know, I always make sure I pulled it, try, try to go through like three layers, try to fold it and put tension on it and then tie it down like that. So that's what I did here. So that way I, we kind of wrapped around this radius right here, like so. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and turn it over, see what we got. And here's the upside. It's looking pretty good. Um, like I said, I did leave this open right here, so we do have a nice, pretty clean line, as you can see right there. Um, there's nothing, this is not tying down, though, it's just some friction right there. So, the, the fabric is tied down, but not the, not the side posters right there. It's just using that metal rod and then the, um, the little rubber band thing that kind of pulls tension on it a little bit, so it keeps it in place. I don't think it will be a problem. And that way, when you sit on it and you move a little bit, it should, the fabric should stay in place because it is tied down. The only thing that might move is this a little bit. So you can see how that kind of changes a little bit right there. So that's kind of an imperfection, but um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But as you see, it looks pretty clean. You know, that's kind of what I wanted. I want it to be clean. And of course, we didn't sew anything. So I mean, we have not sewed a single thread on this whole project. So kind of kind of interesting alternative way to do it, you know, as opposed to the sewing. So uh, anyway, I think that's uh, that's that. You know, this is nice and tight right here, nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. So here's the finished product. I have to say it came out exceptionally well, all things considered, that we didn't even use a single thread. We didn't sew anything, just using cable ties. I love the look, the fabric, the contrast. I think it looks beautiful. We kept all the good elements of the original seat and then um, improved upon it by uh, putting a, a new fabric in here. So it's going to be grippier. It's not going to be as no, no squishiness. Grippier. It's heated. Um, it's going to be it's cloth. It's going to breathe a little bit better than vinyl. So yeah, and it just looks super cool. And it definitely looks super cool. It definitely uh, ties in with the other interior uh, adjustments we're going to be making. So including the door cards. Once we put the door cards to match this, it's going to look super cool. It's going to tie it all together real nicely. And along with the other white accents and everything, it's going to look kind of like a black and white interior. I think it's going to look really nice. So, I think, um, oh yeah, another thing right here, I, I was noticing right here that we have a little bit of a flaw. I could have easily have, have moved that wire back. I didn't think it was necessary because of, I was thinking how this one looked. You know, there's really not, you don't really don't see anything back there. But because of that fabric, that vinyl with the padding and everything is so much thicker than our new material that now there's a big gap there. So like, it's... Uh, so I guess it's another benefit. We've gained a little bit of uh, headspace, I guess, on this car. <laughs> Slightly fractional, but uh, got something going on here. So, but anyway, we'll have to make a we'll have to make an adjustment on the other seat to to tie that back because I could have easily have tucked that back further. That's no problem. But anyway, slightly imperfect, big deal. So it's like, uh, yeah, I, I like the I like the look of it. I think it looks good. I think it came out really really well considering that no thread was ever used. I think it. Uh, Looks quite good, actually. I'm, I'm very happy with it. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.